Are we live? It says we're live. Yes, we are. So it's uh, Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That means it's time for repealgunlaws.com to be on the air. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. This was kind of a busy week for me, and I'm sure it was for you guys too. Uh, it seems like it was busy um, as far as gun news. But let me just go down the row here. We've got GQ Prepper. Hey, GQ. Hello, everybody. And Dano, how's it going, Dano? Good evening, Tony. And MK74, Tom. Hey, what's up? And then Quark, how's it going, Quark? Hey, great. Thanks, Gun Channels. Yeah, I'll uh, just give me a second. I'm coming to Gun Channels. <laughs> <laughs> that was no, that was Warthog. A really good how's Warthog idea. doing? Uh, glad to be here. Doing great. And I was going to say after the introductions that. Um, I want to appreciate G Webs and for putting us up on gunchannels.com because all of us here are members there too and we support that cause. And uh, so, like I said earlier, we've got some things going on this week that are, I don't know, kind of exciting and um, not exciting. Well, honestly, I think it's exciting because when the ATF screws up, I get all excited, just to be honest with you. Even though it may seem like a temporary setback, I think, you know, if given enough rope, they're going to hang themselves. <laughs> so, so I don't know if that's a good philosophy or not. But um, Dano, um, before we get too far into the meeting, do you want to talk about minutes and old business, or what do you want uh, to do? Sure. Um, let me scroll back up here. Uh, first of all, uh, we had extended uh, the uh, call to action, and I'm assuming uh, because of some new business that may come up tonight that that may continue to be extended. Uh, do we want to just confirm or deny that? Confirmed. Confirmed. Uh, okay. I'd, I'd like to add that might be an ongoing thing. Yes. Yeah. Agree. Uh, yeah. let, let me change the status of that to ongoing. <laughs> Is a much better, uh, um, and of course, uh, like our, our our first goal is obviously also ongoing. Uh, uh, GQ Prepper, he had okay, no, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading these notes wrong. Okay, um, the uh, patch design was finalized, but that was last week. Uh, the patches have been ordered. Uh, the T-shirt designed, as I understand it, has that been formalized? Correct. Well, I actually have a couple of T-shirts coming that I want you all to look at, and then we'll. Then I think we. I'd like to have something physical in my hand to show you. Um, they they kind of criticize the, without getting into too much detail or boring people, they basically said that my graphics were a little. I just tried to blow them up and paste them on there. So um, we may have to create some better graphics for the t-shirts, but I wanted to actually, I went in and ordered them anyway, and so we should be getting them in a you know, few days, hopefully by next Saturday. We can look at them, hopefully I can hold it up, you know, or something. Anyway, sorry, too much detail. Well, actually, you actually covered the next item, which is that they've been ordered and to be delivered uh, in the, hopefully the near future. We'll just call those sample products, sample T-shirts, because okay. you all may decide you don't like them and we do something else, and that's okay. But I need a couple of T-shirts to wear. So, sample T-shirts, samples, sample product. Okay. Yeah. Sample products. Okay. Um, and again, uh, I believe, uh, and you all correct me if I'm if I miss something, uh, that except for new business, that's it. Because again, we have the ongoing big things of. Uh, uh, first goal and call to action. I'll, I'll have to go ahead and admit that I have been um, torn between lovers ever since we started this one page deal and when I see somebody post something and then when I think about what I wanted I, I, I have, that's my only excuse of why I haven't posted something and then after hearing the latest about you know ATF deal about the SBRs I'm just wondering if if um, I might not help somebody else, you know, I'm kind of stuck on this 922R thing, which is not going to be popular. 
And so at this point, I'm I'm willing to get behind somebody on the SBR thing and try to help them or whatever I can do. You know what I mean? Well, I hope you don't abandon it, Tony, because I think you would have, even though if you feel it is if it's you know your baby, you probably are going you're because because of that you're going to be the one that's going to have the most passion and probably going to do the best job. So well, I just I just it just seems like after current events. Like you know, like the the hangout we had today with with GWEBs, you know, good websites and the uh, and all the people that took took part in the whole current event issue with the SBR, the ATF, you know, saying now that it's not legal to shoulder and all that. It seems like there was input from them that thought it was a current enough issue to kind of capitalize on, you know. So all I'm saying is I'm willing to get behind. Mm -hmm. Um, but my only hope now is that we can format the, our call to action sheet so that they're loud and clear. And the only thing I did was kind of like a a sheet that said, you know, maybe we could have a come up with a standard later head type thing, and then have big bullet points, you know, that make our case instead of little bitty print that goes on forever, maybe. <laughs> So I'm I'm more interested in like the big picture topic, whether we do SBR or silencer or whatever suppressor, whatever it is, and then the format behind that. And I, maybe that's just me. I'm stuck on that. So um, there was a new thing this week, uh, courtesy of GQ Prepper, that put a link out to a House resolution bill. Uh, for to eliminate gun-free zones uh, as they apply to schools. Uh, GQ, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay. Um, I, I saw it, and I, that the fact that there's one, there's already a politician that's interested in that, and two, he's actually already put together a resolution for it. I think is very exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think that is? I mean, because we, we it's something that already has some traction where um, uh, the SBR doesn't have a politician yet. I mean, it may have one soon, but it doesn't have one yet. I, I agree with you. The problem is that's a that if, if there's any kind of if there's a political issue involved, it's it would be that above, in my opinion, above SBR regulations because you're going to have millions of people come out against, you know, gun-free zones and schools becoming gun-free zones. That's if there was ever a hot button issue, that's it. So that's my only two cents there. That sucker could die in committee tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So well, well, they all have they have different fights to fight. Well, it's a it's a good example of a gun law. It's not an NFA item, but it is a more recent uh, past legislation. I think it serves that it's encouraging to us that yes, a congressperson can pick up one of these gun law related topics and push it forward, and not just uh, you know give it lip service. So um, it's encouraging. It shows that yes, um, these things can actually happen. Um, so I take it as that, and I think the NFA items are probably where you know we're most invested right now. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Well, yeah. and the thing about it is, is that because we take a look at something else, doesn't mean we're dropping anything else. Correct. Um, and really, uh, you know, I just I pointed out I wasn't looking for any particular action on that. I was just pretty much just posting that as a notice, but in the least, uh, and this had to do again with like all the Republicans that voted against Boehner a while back, uh, these guys like to hear when we think they're doing a good job. And I would like to see, you know, you know, go to their Facebook, go to their email, something like that. If we can just throw out a support, say, hey, we, we back you, we appreciate you. Uh, like I said, that's, I would say that would be the minimum. I, I'd like to see us do that. Right. Oh, I think it's great. I'm not trying to downplay the... It, it seems stuff. like low-hanging fruit to me. 
That's, that's a good point, GQ, to, to, to acknowledge those that actually engage and support them as we would want them to support us. That's, we need to give that credit where it's due. Uh, that's a good point. I think the only, the only thing I would say is that I don't think it's lower hanging than NFA items such as SBR. Um, if you want to have a quick su success, if you want a long fight that would go past the election, uh, you know, if you want a long, hard fight, do gun-free zones in schools. If you, to me, if you want a quick success, then you would it would attack the SBR issue. It might also give us the opportunity to make contact with a politician on something he would like, and then maybe he might also separately or in addition to take on one of our other issues. The fact right. of getting to know somebody and having them and, get to know us. Yeah, and, and for anybody out there that's interesting, it's uh, Congressman Thomas uh, Massey, that's M-A-S-S-I-E, he's a Republican from Kentucky, and the bill number is H.R. 86, yes. the Safe Student Act. Thank you, Cork. The, yeah, the, yeah, the only thing I'm going to try to do is try to keep his focus because, you know, there will be, with this new Congress, you will, you will have news like this probably on a weekly basis. And are we going to change our focus on a weekly basis, or are we going to try to develop something? And you know what I mean. At some point, I, I don't necessarily think that us as individuals uh, just taking a moment to give this guy a pat on the back is really going to take a, any focus. I, I I think we are somewhat able to keep. <laughs> Our eye on the ball, and 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 and, and you we're, know. I don't know. We're talking about two different things, then. Okay. Well, I, I just want to say, if 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 I mean, because I mean, we we talk about patches and T-shirts and all kinds of stuff too. You know, yeah. I don't necessarily think this one thing is going to sidetrack us. I can say that I don't know to what extent we should get involved in it, but I'm just saying, at the minimum, if we can get as many people as we can to reach out to this guy and say, "Hey, thanks, good job. This is who we are, and we support you." If nothing else, it's people networking in the legislative branch, which is exactly what we want. Okay, well, who wants to take that on as a project so we can move on to our next fund? I'll take it on. Okay. But all, all I'm saying, I think it's great. It's, it's wonderful. And anybody who would like to... You know, the, uh, point, the point is, you're, 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 you're trying to latch on, and I, I think it's great, okay? But... What what happens to the things that we thought were important a week ago? You know? It don't change. It didn't uh, change. And, and, I, and I, so I think we're talking about two different things. We're talking about acknowledging something versus making something a project. Is really is what we're talking right. about. I mean, you we asked also need to make connections. Make responsibility and, for it, and I said I was willing to do it. Now, now if you did, now if you really meant something different, then. Then I guess I would have to ask. I, I, yeah, I, and I, I, I want to let's let's go ahead and clear it up. And this is my understanding. We're not we're not necessarily at this time talking about something that we're going to throw resources into. We're just talking about making a contact here, correct? Exactly. That's why yes. I said I think we're talking about two different things. That's all, man. Okay. Yeah, we're on the same page now. He's we're we're just talking about we uh, making a contact, uh, taking part, just making our presence known. You know, we're not talking right now about throwing any resources or, you know, putting our focus or effort into it. We're just talking about getting some people out there, making contact, giving some support for somebody that is in the same state or same or like-minded as we are. Right. Right. So if uh, there, uh, we have anyone who lives in the state of Kentucky uh, who's a member of repealgunlaws.com, if you can leave me a message on our website. If you are not a member, just so you know, it is free. Anyone can sign up. And again, if you happen to sign up and you live in the state of Kentucky, uh, if you could leave me a message on repealgunlaws.com and uh, let, let me know, uh, I would like to talk to you. That's cool. Um, the, on the, in that same... Um, area, <laughs> G-Webs was talking about, you know, he was kind of joking around, and I was kind of joking around, uh, the fact that we weren't going to have a presence at SHOT Show, and he was, he joked that, you know, he could, he could 
uh, he was available for, you know, repealgunlaws.com whoring. <laughs> and I, I just had a little, uh, you know, the light bulb went off in my head. I would be willing to spend some money to try to get somebody to have a sponsor there, even if it was just getting them to make a video while they were there talking about repealgunlaws.com and um, being on a, you know, bigger channel. I, I would be willing to pay for that myself personally. So I was I was going to try to hang around after G Webs said he would hang around after his chat, but I had to run and then come back to this one. So I, I'd like to, if it's not G Webs, I'd like to, you know, I would hope it would be, but if not, I think it's a good idea, you know, that we try to have a presence some, in some manner at the shop show since none of us are going. So, uh, if it means us coming up with a, you know, we only have a few days coming up with some kind of little flyer, or even like I said, even if we work out that G Webs or somebody we sponsor just has, makes a video at the shop show and talks about our efforts and, and says the words repealgunlaws.com, I think that's worth whatever uh, marketing that we get from it, you know, marketing effect. Any comments on that? Um, no, I agree. I, I don't know how much we can get done in time. Uh, what we may want to do in addition, if we don't do that, or in addition to that, is go ahead and concentrate on the next big thing, which of course will be the NRA show. Uh, things that we can do as far as maybe, because you know, the laws are a little funny when you get to stuff like this, is uh, maybe pass out flyers, information, stuff like that around the parking areas of the NFA show, get our message, start, uh, focus on getting our message out at, at that. Of course, that's what, April? Yeah, I was planning on going to the NFA show, and I was going to try to bring that up. Are, are those you mean NRA show? Or? Yeah, you but kept it, on saying NFA. <laughs> the the but yeah, I'm talking about I'm talking about trying to get something. Yeah, they they have booths there for nonprofits. I was trying to find out about that this morning. I, they're already I've already looked. They're all taken. Okay. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't go and have you know represent ourselves there in some manner. But yeah, you got two or three guys in matching t-shirts, fat looking, not scary yeah. like panhandlers. You know, passing out information, maybe have NRA caps on something like that, you know, as people are walking, because they're going to be walking. There's, you know, there's limited parking. It's going to be a hike to get to the NRA show. Just say, you know, hey, as you're on your way, you take a look at this, you know, maybe have like a button sticker, something like that. Uh, people love swag. You know, they'll get that'll be their first piece of swag going to the NRA show. And I knew we had time to talk about the the NRA show. I was talking. The reason I brought up the the shop show is because it's next week and uh, or it's on the twentieth. It starts on the twentieth. And uh, so anyway, um, it, to me, at this late hour, even if we don't have anything printed or anything, you know, it would be worth having someone there uh, talking with somebody else about us at the shop show would be cool. That's all I'm saying. Yes, I agree. So, and so I can probably work that out before before the shop show. So. so so, how would you word what you just said in a sentence? How would I word? I would say uh, we're, our goal for the shop show is to have a um, Notable YouTuber make a video <laughs> at the shop show uh, about repealgunlaws.com. Okay, thank you. That's something simple we can do, and with with little effort, um, and still and still have a presence there. You know, have someone represent us there. So. Can't hurt. Absolutely. So, uh, since there's not much excitement around that, let's move on to the next fine subject. <laughs> uh, uh, did you want to go to NRA handout or NRA while we're on that topic of shows, or just go to that later? 
No, no, no. I, and I didn't mean to downplay that. GQ's right. But I was just trying to get the feedback for, for the shock show because it's obviously the 20th and oh, yeah. we've got some time. I, I expected that we would have T-shirts and patches by the time we go to the NRA show. So um, and, would it be fair to say that uh, one of our goals is for the NRA show to have um, – uh, some 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 sort of whether they're stickers or or, ha or or whatever something to hand out. Yeah, what I'd like to have too is if it's not this call to action sheet, I'd like to have one of these um, uh, that we could hand that we could hand out to people. You know, something with big big text, big bullet points, big points, big picture stuff. Big uh, who we are and what we're yeah, with our web address on it and contact information. Almost like a big giant business card that would be cheap to print. <laughs> or we could just we could do a business card. What I know GQ are you aren't you planning on being there? So Yeah and again uh, uh, because also things could change quickly. So right. you know uh, and it's it's a little ways away. Things can change quickly as far as what we may or may need to do as far as literature goes. But yeah, my, right now my plan is to attend. Uh, I'll probably make two days of it. I plan on spending one day maybe working the streets, you know, working for repealgunlaws.com, uh, passing out whatever it is at the time we decide we need to pass out, and then maybe a day I will spend in, in, in the show, you know, wearing a T-shirt, whatever, something like that. Well, I'll be there too, so then we can meet up. <laughs> so for uh, NRA, uh, we have uh, possibly some swag to hand out as well as handouts with contact info and some variation of a call to action sheet right. as part of the handout. Yeah, whatever, whatever we decide. I mean, we don't have to have anything big. You know, if, if we if we decide it's just a patch and a business card, that's fine. I mean, I'm not trying to make it into a big deal. No, I was just thinking, what what could we, you know, we can control eight and a half by eleven printing. I can print that up myself, you know. I, this um, is just for my notes. That's the only reason. Yeah, I have. yeah. So I didn't want to get too far off the. Okay. What I thought was the. Uh, are we kind of? Can we move on to something else? Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, SBR. Anybody else, uh, Warthog, anybody else? Gork have input on that? No, just you know, having that stuff out. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, I guess I don't know why. I guess I let the chat, the hangout today, affect me a little bit. But I guess I'll calm down. But well, last last week we left off with possibly silence, and that's why I say possibly silencers being a goal. And then obviously today, the last twenty four hours happened. So right, you go ahead and lead the discussion from there. Well, I, I, all I was going to mention was that, that we have gotten a lot of feedback, or I got a lot of feedback today uh, from people um, that I respect that thought was, that that was a good area to focus on, and that's all I'm going to say. We can take um, that, we can take that, or we can leave it. But I think we should at least think about it. You know, because Tony, could you quickly tell us exactly what happened for those of us who? Like me, uh, well, it just, I don't know the, describe, the only thing I only thing I would describe is that um, sometimes you get a general feeling that people are trying to guide you in a direction, and that they would support you in that effort, and that's the feeling I got today. Is that I mean, if, what if exactly we're, happened? Because yeah, we're talking about the the the, the whole ATF thing where they reversed their decision, right? On shouldering now, it's illegal to shoulder the arm brace, right? Okay, so they have released a letter, and 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 I have to apologize. This is something that got past me. So what you're saying is the ATF released a letter saying that they have decided now that shouldering that brace is illegal. Right, and that was the whole basis behind uh, G Web's four to six, eight hours, whatever it was he had today. It was kind of a marathon thing. Right, and um, so and during that. Hang out. I, I, you know, I just gathered from that that there was support uh, in the community for people to get together around that issue. That's all I'm saying. We could pick, you know, whatever we pick is fine. 
I'm just trying to report what I'm I'm trying to keep my finger on the pulse you know the community it's hard to do but when you get indications like that you, you know I just want to mention them you know bring them up you know what I'd also be interested in seeing uh, and I, I realize this meeting is happening so fast after after that is sometimes people get very excited in the first 24 to 72 hours of something and then a week or two later some of the excitement dies down. Well, the pro the problem with that is not the problem, the the the, the, the thing about that is <laughs> is that you have some you have this industry building around it. So there's it's not just going to be us that's interested. You know, you're talking about SIG. You know, you're talking about manufacturers and and people who who have a vested interest. There, right. so it's not going to go away. And Couldn't you say the same thing about you know the the companies that make silencers? You could, but are there, is that even in the news now? I mean, you know, is it even an issue currently? Well, just a couple weeks ago, you know, with Ohio passing that that yeah. bill, it was in the news all over. I'm just reporting, okay. I'm I'm just one person reporting. Well, here, here's something I've collected throughout the SIG Brace uh, ATF letter release. You suddenly have approximately 200,000 owners of that product or more who now have, um, they want to do something with some anger that they have, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better term. And, and they, they are, we, we need to serve as a focal point for that energy and effort, not allow this to be 2,000 firecrackers going off simultaneously in different parts of the country, but make it one shot that's heard everywhere. Um, and that's what we need these call to action letters, this focus, give these people a common voice to be heard from. We talked a lot about civil rights movements and what makes them successful. I mean, you do not have to have majority opinion to be successful when you're talking about civil rights. And we need to start this argument in a way that gives the people a single voice to speak from and doesn't end up as another muddled, muted effort. Um, I, I think that we we need to service that right now. We need to try to service that need to have a unified message. Is it the only message? Well, probably not. But is it one that if people are looking to do something meaningful that we can help God with? I mean, a, a classic example you'll hear is one of the gun manufacturers, uh, you know, had a kind of click and send this letter thing to your representative, some type of an automated way to get a unified message out. Um, so, so our efforts were already headed that direction. Well, now we suddenly see this surge of energy um, to, to can we harness it and can we show the gun community that, you know, there is a way to speak with a single voice and we don't have to be just these individuals begging for our rights back. Um, we can be a group, a movement, asking for our rights back instead. And that's where I think we need to focus, is we need to become the movement, and we need to harness this and not just be individuals anymore, but to say, look, you know, we, we have our rights, and, and, and we're going to, we're asking for them back. And this is a great example of, of you know, how we've gone from shall not be infringed upon to, uh, you know, we changed our mind, um, and I think we should harness that. And this is like you said in the beginning, uh, Tony. You know they made a mistake, and we need to we need to not let this this mistake go to waste because what they're showing is the frivolousness which we live under, which I think brings the NFA back into play in more people's eyes to say, hey, enough's enough. Yeah, I think the issue is the frivolousness of the ATF, not so much the how many people want SIG braces. It's the fact that they're willing to change the interpretation of the laws at, 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 at whichever way the wind blows, and that's what scares me. I have no interest in getting a SIG brace, yet this scares me because I know the ATF will reinterpret something just by the fact that they get a phone call, a memo, or somebody felt that way that day. Well, we should always keep our efforts big picture. I mean, we, I don't think we should ever focus on any one little thing, you know. Like focusing on the brace is not really the issue. The issue is exactly. the ATF being able to rule on a daily basis, 
you know, create law through letters on a daily basis. That's the issue. And I think if we don't keep our finger on the pulse, you know, a grassroots movement is known for being able to react quickly. You know, we're not a bunch of old geezers in a, in a board meeting that take 100 years to make changes you know, or to change our minds. We should be able to, you know, keep our finger on the pulse and be able to change accordingly to based on the current, you know, feel. And that's all I'm. That's all I was saying was that I feel that the there's this effort for us to come together in the gun community on YouTube, and I think this would be an issue that we could do that with. You yes. know, that's all I'm I, saying. I agree with you totally, Tony. That's exactly what I mean. And then, I mean, you that, know, that, the, what, what Warhog mean. is saying is correct. You know, we, um, we, it's, it's not the brace. It's 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 the way they did it, what they're doing, and and how. Right, because I'm like you. I could care less about the brace. I think it's ugly, but that's not the issue. Exactly. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my personal opinions out of this. Right. Well, the issue, the ultimate issue, is, is there's no. I mean, if we look at the Constitution and the Second Amendment and the and the well-armed militia uh, and the use of you know, we should have the equivalent of what the military has for crying out loud. I mean, this this is established law. It's a bill of rights. This is our civil right. The military uses silencers. The military uses short barrel rifles. Where in God's green earth did a federal government that was not allowed to regulate our actions or our products get to the point where it can now decide, well, you can't touch this product in this fashion. If we can't make an example out of that, uh, you know, there's not going to be many opportunities like that. Now, it's an approach. This is an approach. There are many approaches, but this is one where we get the opportunity to enlist some public emotions that the ATF generated for us, and we'll take it. Yeah, we can take the stance of the old liberal stance of don't let a tragedy go to waste. And you've yeah. got 200,000 disgruntled or people with buyer's remorse. Might that not be something that we want to uh, let pass away? Yeah. And, and we have, to, and as long as I think we remain focused on the, the bigger issue, of the, the, you know, whether the ATF should exist or not, or so, you know, that kind of thing. And not, not that we're trying to support, you know. Well, it's not even if the ATF should issue. It's that the yeah. NFA should, issue, should right. exist. Exactly. The ATF may exist in some other capacity. We don't care about the ATF. The ATF is an, has become an arm of the NFA and become an opinion, a subject to the, to the ATF's opinion. And it, the big picture is you should be allowed to own the same products that the military does by very definition of the U.S. Constitution, and we don't have representation to give us our rights. We want our rights back. And that might mean you can own a SIG brace. It might mean you use the brace of your choice. Yeah. So how do we how do we move this to some sort of action item? Do we... Do it. I mean, now I can see, I can now feel myself working myself up to getting, <laughs> to, to coming up with a page of, because I wasn't really passionate about any anything before except the 922R, but now I'm getting passionate about something, you know, other than that. So, should we go ahead and, should we all try to come up with something on that and then print them out and somehow compare them somehow? Uh, well, well, I think mine already covers that. Uh, yeah. It just needs to be updated to their most current opinion. I agree. GQ Pepper's got the one that's out there now. I, I, I mean, I think that uh, the only thing I see with it is it's a couple of pages because of a very nice graphic he created. But um, maybe <laughs> uh, I, I think well, that I think what we need to do is have a vetting process for papers. Mm -hmm. uh, you, everyone should create their own. By all means, don't. Don't look for permission. Do it. I mean, well, I what, I, what I was trying to say was, I, I was going to agree with exactly what you said. I think now I'm thinking we should have a graphic page, and then a bulleted page. Again, big picture, um, you know, big picture stuff on the bulleted page, and then a graphic page like GQ came up with, 
And so well, you, you, you know, made a point about like a bullet point list. If you're at the if, if you're at the NRA convention, um, if you're handing it to some congressman on a busy schedule, you know maybe it's thinned down. If you're handing it to somebody who's maybe a little bit you know curious that doesn't really care, maybe you hand them a graphic. I mean, we can have different forms of target letters, I guess, but but really. The message should be the same, and that's that unifying the, the movement message. Um, and, and graphics are great. I mean, people like that stuff. I yeah, mean. yeah, I agree. And it, it puts it right in front of them, and that's what I was trying to do with the text. Yeah, GQ, GQ preppers yeah. work just what you can visually see the absurdity of what's going on, and that's a very powerful way of doing it. So, so do we have an action item, or not? Not yet. We're still working on that. Well, I think our action item is just uh, we we kind of narrowed. If I if I hear what we're saying, we're going to narrow our focus to F SDR, and we're going to come up with a, a minimum of two page document that that we try to narrow down. We have some sort of vetting, <laughs> like Warhawk said, that that we can narrow down to. to I like the idea of having a graphic page and then a you know, a text page, you know, um, even if they do have the same content, you know, um, I don't know, one, maybe one's more flexible than the other, I don't know, <laughs> what, what am I trying to say here, guys? One is for talking to somebody, the other is to send a letter to somebody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay to have both. I think, I think we're going to have more success with being in front of somebody. Well, yeah. Um, Handing them something, talking with them. Right. It just we, less, well, think it's about less of a letter than, than more of a letter. Because of distances, we can't always get face to face. I yeah. think about this though too. If we're unifying a message for a movement, it's not it's not always. I mean, it's a it's a link on a on a, on this website or a link on any website to download that content and have somebody adopt that message as their own, so they can be unified throughout the country. Um, so you know, it, it we ha you have to be you know you want to control the message in such a way that you know it's not just for what you see it as. Um, it's what a multitude of people and how they may need to use it. And we, and once again, we can have different categories. We can have different flavors. I mean, I, I just think that we need to be also mindful of thinking about this as 200,000 people printing this, emailing it, doing some way of forwarding it to their representatives. Think of it in that context too. Um, and and no, they're not all going to stand in front of them. I mean. So let, let's be flexible. No, no, I'm just yeah, I'm just saying if we had a document that was that flexible, that we could email it, fax it, hand it, you know, it's not going to be something. I, I'm just telling you right now. When I get this stuff in the when in the NRA and the Second Amendment Foundation and ILA send me this crap every day, and they want me to read the little eight point print and it's you know twelve pages, it goes in the spam box, guys. Yeah. I think that's what ninety percent of the people do. But if you get something that they can't uh, they can't avoid the text, <laughs> the big words, you know, that there it is in front of them, a graphic or big bullet points. Can I throw out a suggestion? Go ahead. Uh, if we could make this focused on not necessarily SB fifteen brace or even SBR, if we make the focus uh, as NFA laws or organizations that are a threat to your freedom. I mean, not your actual freedom. I mean, these are these are dangers. These are something that 200,000 right now, 2,000, 200,000 people right now are uh, possible felons. Okay, um, and you know that's just with the SB 15 breaks. There's plenty of other things out there that can, people can make a very innocent accident on, as far as putting a vertical grip on a pistol, something like that. We see it all the time. So maybe if we instead of focusing it being SBR or braces or something like that, we can focus it on these are threats to your actual freedom, period, as in you will go to jail if you do not pay attention to this. See, so now we're drifting off into the NRA land where we're just, we're just uh, one thing, you know, one thing that scares me is that we turn into an information you know, and so what? There's information is available to everyone, right? 
And what I what I want to make sure we're doing though is we're 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 headed towards a direction of making uh, repealing our whole focus is repealing gun laws. So when we that I think you're I think that's a great idea, GQ. But I want us to stay focused on the goal, and that is if you know when we educate people or we know or we let them know these things, we're also headed towards an effort. Uh, well, that's, that was kind of the way I was wanting to put it, is that, you know, we're going to repeal these things. We need to repeal these things so we don't have potential felons. Well, I think, you know, go from shall not be infringed upon to you're an overnight felon. I mean, I, I think there's lots of media strategy here, and boy, I, I love a lot of what I hear. I mean, I, I think of a pyramid with the Second Amendment on top and putting all the crap that's been put underneath of it that doesn't belong there. Um, so I yeah. think we, we, in the beginning we kind of talked about there's NFA laws, there's um, there's the Constitution, there's lots of ways to, to, to uh, go at this, legal and legislatively. And I guess we earlier decided we'd do the NFA. Um, I think what was just GQ just mentioned there is, you know, I think that's an attention getter, if you will, in a, in a marketing strategy. I mean, that is the attention getter. That is, hey, guess what? If, if this is an example of a, your your rights being subject to minute-to-minute uh, -minute interpretation. No, I, I agree. All I'm saying is that when you grab their attention, then you tell them what you're going to do. Oh, absolutely. You don't do what the NFA well, does, you, you let us off. does on a weekly basis. They say, they say, oh, let's sign a pledge to not, you know, let's sign a pledge. Oh, by the way, send me money. You know, I want to, I want to see here, here's the, you know, grab, grab them and then say, and this is what we're going to do. You know, I don't, I don't know how to even, I have a hard time grasping at the words. <laughs> you know, I don't want to become an NRA or Second Amendment Foundation or you know people who just talk about this crap all the time. It'd be, it'd be nice if we could, you know. But, so you want to be an action group instead of uh, just sit around a BS group? Yeah, yeah. But but I think I think you're right. I think the like the graphic sheet that that GQ came up with that grabs your attention, but then. Your second page or whatever tells tells you how to how to what what we're going to do now that we know that <laughs> you know um, and I thought that's what we were doing I thought we were coming up with with a our call to action plan was to uh, create something that would that would that would force that would lead to action you know after after the after people are educated so. Yeah, I thought all the forums was to basically piecemeal together a solid proposal and send it out there. Maybe the graphics in there, then send a link to our website to explain it further in detail if they want to. And then what we're going to do to repeal the laws. People got quiet really quick. Don't make me keep talking, guys. <laughs> Well, I just, we could, um, you know, it's like anything I put out there, feel free to plagiarize the heck out of it. <laughs> you know, uh, use whatever you can find. You know, use what's out there. You, if there's anything I that I've put out there or anybody else, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't want to speak for everybody what? else, but maybe they'll feel the same way. If you think you can take that same information and spin it in a better way, please do. Let us see it. No, I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's going to be a conglomerate, right? Yeah. It's going to... I don't think we're going to pull maybe just everything from one person. So, can someone summarize for me what we're now asking for? Same thing. Oh, oh, oh just the, the continuation of the call to action. But I guess uh, I don't know. Do we I... want to decide that? Well, I'm personally going to. Now I feel like I have a focus now, so I feel like by next Saturday I will personally have something to submit, like everybody else or other people have. I, I so, think what so we maybe need after to, another week we can decide. You know, we, we need to maybe also through the week. I mean, 
I, I know there's more I can add. I mean, I had to get rid of so much just to even create what I did. I went and looked at a format people commonly use to be effective with congressmen and getting their attention, keeping it short to the point. I did mine on silencers. Um, uh, I think that, you know, if you can get it out, be, be watching the website, uh, repealgunlaws.com, uh, comment. Um, you know, uh, MK, I think we've had some other comments in there. And, and what you start to see is you start to see a consensus building. You see the more we get, the more consensus you find around the message. And, and that is a, that's kind of what we're doing here. We're going to have to – we're in a consensus building uh, process right now, right. which is a very painful thing to do as a group. And then we have to pick up a hard point to stop building consensus and decide, break the consensus building, and go forward. Now, it doesn't mean that that forum and those opinions can't keep rolling in. So the call to action, I think, stands indefinitely in my mind. But the the consensus building period has to end, and then we have to engage. And that's, I, that's kind of what I think the next real... Can I ask you a favor, Warthog? Certainly. Can you take your format and... Or I could guess I could do this. I like your format, and could you do one? Could you make your case for SBR? And yeah, I'll, then, I'll do that. Absolutely. And then I'll I'll try I'll try to come up. I feel like um, I'm not going to compare myself to the architect to an architect, but what I'd like to be is someone to try to help us develop the format. You know, to keep it like something that people would look at actually. And then people like, that are smarter than me, like you and GQ and all the rest of you, <laughs> actually come up with the verbiage and the graphics. But I think, and that's why I think we're going to bring, you know, each of us brings a different talent to this thing, you know. Um, so, I, I mean, I think it would be cool if we did have something in the format that, like, you come up with and then also with, like, that GQ's come up with. And, and and they almost say the same thing, but one is for graphic people, one is for more graphically minded people, and then one is for for people who do like to read, you know, for people who are interested in the nitty gritty, you know. Um, but anyway, that's just my two cents. Well, my two cents is also like GQ said, plagiarize the crap out of what I've yeah. got, which isn't much at this point. The, well, and the end, I, I, I look. I also I also want. I find myself wanting to write the bigger argument. I mean, mm -hmm. we're doing these uh, specific NFA item arguments, but I'm I'm very torn to want to put the big picture out there. Um, just as the sig brace is irrelevant in many ways to what we're doing, we don't really want to be product specific. We want you to be free to have the products you want. And looking at an NFA item to me almost becomes the same as the sick brace in that I think the holder and thing should be repealed and it can't stand. Um, but we are a grassroots movement, and the, and I think the key is to stay focused on building that movement, and that's we got to stay focused on our point, and that's where the silencer or the SBR can be you know the first crack in the NFA repeal maybe and getting the national attention of the movement um, that nothing starts um, you, you don't get exactly what you want when you begin ever but once you get the attention um, of the of the right audience that's when you can really start using science and facts to repudiate why any of this even exists I actually think we can make an argument for any any good argument for any any one paragraph in the NFA should be an argument that would make sense for repealing the entire NFA. Does that make sense? Yes. In other words, the justification for getting rid of the SBR regulations can also be applied to the NFA itself. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, well, let's you know we, let's go ahead and decide. I mean, we've got. Uh, We've got two things, two possibilities. We've got SPR, which that's what the brace falls under, okay? That, that, that's a subcategory of SPR. That's right. why that it exists is because of SPR. So you've got, we've got the choice of SPR right now that's a hot button. You've got disgruntled product buyers 
uh, manufacturers, what have you, and you've got the support of that side, or we can go ahead and go with silencers where we might have more support of like your sporting community, what people may call FUDs or something like that. Possibly, I don't know. Uh, so let's let's make a decision. Maybe tonight. Let's and, and and by no means not saying that someone can't still submit in the call of action something that they're passionate about. But let's go ahead and pick one of those things to go ahead and start focusing on. And I think it's probably going to be a choice between those two. Uh, I think those two are the are, are the absolute. I, and, and what I'm saying is that I'm going to submit something this week that deals with SBRs, but I'm I'm going to try to make it applicable to silencers also. And somehow, if that's really the trick, because you know, if if what what, what I keep thinking is that if we ever do get a a, a legislator, you know, a representative to, to help us. They may have their own opinion, and we may yeah. have to be a little flexible. So well, our argument needs to be a little bit big picture, even though we are focusing on SBR regulations or or silencers or whatever. And that, I totally agree with that because, as I mentioned first, you know the old adage: if you can't get one, ask for two. Right. So I'm fine with that as well. Right. So that, that's I was hoping to do that. Yeah, I feel like I have a little more passion towards something besides. Like I, I, I like the I like the two almost at this point. I'm 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 tortured to try to pick between the two. Um, I like being able to just go ahead. Let's go ahead and build both arguments. Let's go ahead and proceed as if both are going to happen. Um, if it comes down to you know we're in a, some congressman says I can probably get this but I can't get that well. Uh, we could meet at that time. Yeah, um, SBRs with silencers. <laughs> there we go. Good match. Good, good, good combination. Okay. Uh, proceed with both SBR and silencer. And we were. And do we we want to say SBR and silencer, or do we just want to go NFA? I think you're gonna have a lot of trouble convincing. Anybody in the house right now that machine guns are good to have on the streets. The problem with yeah. the, the the problem with the entire NFA is that there's going to be a lot of people, even in the gun community, that say destructive devices shouldn't be. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because it goes you know? into things way beyond firearms. Yeah. But I just didn't know if we wanted to be specific or if we just wanted to go. We wanted I to guess. Start I guess what I was talking NFA. about. I guess what I was talking about earlier was the philosophy that. You know the argument we're making for that one item could be used against the NFA, okay. and I think that helps us. That guides me personally in trying to make a big argument. That's okay. Well, that's that's yeah. kind of how I felt, and that's like I said in in my thing. I said that you know yeah. we'd have to do these by an item by item basis. Yeah. And another reason why I don't think the machine guns would would fly, you know, this is why I'm going after this because you also then have to get rid of the what is it the 84 law as well. Where you know right. manufacturers can't right. 34, 86, whatever. I think you know, you can probably it. get machine guns done easier than you can get any other destructive I, device like a pipe bomb or. <laughs> I, oh right, but I'm just yeah. saying you're gonna have to, you know, it's the, you have yeah. to go after both laws, so yeah. manufacturers can start making them again and selling them. Right. I have a question on um, uh, the uh, it, it's indirectly related to the NFA, and that's uh, the. Uh, ATF's uh, ability, without any transparency, to do the, the interpretation of NFA and a whim, and going after the NFA in, on, on, on the lack of transparency issue. It's, it's another way to go about it indirectly. The fact that it just comes out of the shadows. That was actually going to be one of my bullet points on my, my argument, something related to that. Uh, maybe that's a sub point, but I think yeah. that can be a goal by itself. Just the, 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 trans, the lack of transparency. Well, and see, that's kind of a, to me, that's something that you include in your argument against anything that, you know, that, that, that the power that they have to, to rule on a daily basis uh, is just, 
you know. Well, the, the one word that was used earlier was destructive device, and I think the yeah. ambiguousness of that term alone becomes a sticking point for our arguments because who gets to define destructive device? As soon as we start talking about silencers and sh uh, shoulder braces, somebody's going to say you want to own an F-16 and bomb places. You know, we need to go ahead and control that argument also. And, and that's why using you know a well-regulated militia and what the military uses as some baselines um, to to kind of rein in um, potentially definitions. How far we can go, I don't know. But the definitions used uh, in the 1968 and in the, in the in the logic behind the original NFA, it's out the window. It really is. It, it, it's just fouled logic. It, it doesn't. Ever, it never achieved what it was intended to do in the first place, which to me is round, just grounds alone for getting rid of it. Um, why you should maintain bad law is another argument. Uh, why do you want to maintain law with people with, with a civil right? I mean, we have a civil right. This was given to us in the Bill of Rights. It is our government's duty to ensure that we have it. And, you know, these little arguments about well, you know, you can have this type of stock or not. I mean, good grief. So anyway, sorry on my rant again, but um, <laughs> we, framing the arguments as a movement is, is what well, I think it's a building process. We're kind of reaching, you know, I see the small movement right now is where we're at. I think what I'm saying, follow to come, stay tuned, is the bigger movement. Once right. we get political capital, once we get the people involved with us, once people see that they can affect change in this country, then we move to that next argument. And and that's, I guess, where, I, where I, my passion really lies. But I'll do an SBR for sure, and um, let's give people something they can use. That's a good part of the, um, the braces on the stick braces. It shows you how easy it is to break the SBR laws, not know it. Now, at somebody's whim, you're suddenly a felon. And that goes to the that goes to the point of unenforceable law. Well, you, you, you know? broke a tax law. I might add too. You just you, your your violation was you did not pay taxes. You have you are a tax um, evader at that point. Is the law you didn't create? You know you. you, you they use tax law to make you that felon. Okay, think of the perverseness of this. You know, it, it, it's it's really because it gets back to the point: the federal government has no authority to regulate your actions and activities. It has no authority to regulate your products. So they grasp <laughs> this tax law is the ultimate uh, power grab. Why do you think the IRS is uh, managing Obamacare? <laughs> Uh, and I okay. think there's another argument that yeah. what, how can tax law be used to be punitive to the citizens to the point where it, it removes a right. Right. Okay, so what can we? How can we get back on track? I think we are on track. That's what we're saying. Um, so I feel like I have a good homework assignment for this week. Does it? Everybody else. I promise I'm going to do mine. I just I've been struggling personally with you know it's funny when your heart's not into something it's hard to come up with something so my, I think my heart's more into it, to it now based on today and last couple of days and um, and I and I want to thank you know GQ and Warthog and MK Tom and Dano and Wart for posting stuff because it's kind of helped guide me. You know, kind of get me focused, you know, because I'm a I'm a real staunch free market guy, and I was really focused on the the 922R thing, which I think the, the entire chapter 44 of the title 18 could just be deleted all together. In some ways, that would be easy to do, but again, I digress. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, any other comments? I feel like uh, I feel like we have a good uh, a good focus for this coming week, and we're actually at about an hour. Yeah, that's it's done. <laughs> and so I would expect to get the patches in about ten days. Uh, getting on something that's a little less 
it's a little more lighthearted. The so that'll be fun to get those. Um, and the t-shirts I should have in about three or four days for sample stuff. That'll be fun, fun to have. So um, in ten days and t-shirt samples when? I think I have to go back. I could have sworn they said they were ready to be shipped. So it's just a matter of shipping time. Okay. Um, you don't pay much for that, so you probably it's probably three or four days. You know, that that five day schedule. On, you know, when you're not really paying for shipping, they they, they use the cheapest <laughs> right. available option. But um, and um, and I'm gonna uh, pursue uh, this thing. You know, with the shop show. Uh, exposure. So we'll, we'll hopefully see the fruits of that by next Friday, uh, next Saturday, right? What's today's date? Yeah, it'll be over by next Saturday, right? So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then, um, so does anybody else have anything to add? If not, um, actually, I just want to add real quick. I did post in the forum a link to a second group, um, and there is case my mind right now. But in there, in that link, there is a uh, like a how-to grassroots that I thought everybody would probably find very interesting and helpful if you read. It's not that long. It's like three five minute uh, worth of information. That's cool. Yeah, the NGAR is a lot yeah. better. I like them a lot more than NRA does. Yeah. Where, where did you post that in again, at again? In the forum? What forum is it under? Uh, I believe it's under suggestions, okay. and I put it as other pro gun organizations. I was trying to find anybody out there whose uh, mission statement clearly stated to repeal federal gun laws, and there's none. Uh, it's just that that one did have past actions where they have you know taken part and they had a section in there uh, for forming grassroots efforts how to be success successful and I thought it would probably be I would I, I called it somewhat mandatory reading for at least people who want to be board members I, I, I think it was just really good information I'll check it out sounds like a good, good link yeah we, we can use a training session on things like this you know what, we, what I can do too is if we come up with valuable links like that we can put them you know a menu out for links you know web links and we can put those all in one spot where people can find them because the problem with our posting is it kind of gets lost it gets buried after a while so right I think our position papers once they're vetted and we, we reach the consensus need to float to the a, a link like right at the top of the, yeah. you know, the call to action needs to be like drop your mouse and you're reading the paper yeah yeah okay so <clears throat> I'm getting a note from the timekeeper <laughs> and I appreciate that and uh, I want to thank everybody thank you guys GQ, Dano, MK74, Cork, Warthog you guys are the faithful few, and it's fun. It's really, you know, it's just, uh, just excited. I, I don't know. I get excited. I told my wife tonight I didn't want to go out to eat dinner with her. I just wanted to get ready for the chat. She was like, "You're taking me to Loopy's Pizza, boy." What are you right here? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to leave G Web uh, chat and head out to that. But anyway, sorry. Uh, for the rambling. So I'll end it here unless anybody has anything else. And I just want to thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.